write a program to check if the number is palindrome. Palindrome is a number which is equal to its reverse of the digits, something like 343. If you take the reverse, it's again 343. So you see that number and its reverse is same. Therefore, this particular number is a palindrome. Now, if we have to check this programmatically, we need to use a logic. So to understand this, let's take one sample number. Let's say we have a number 345. Now, programmatically, we need to reverse the number. Therefore, the output has to be 5, 4, 3. And we just compare. If they're equal, it's a palindrome. If you carefully observe, for this to happen, what we are doing is we are basically shifting the digits. The last digit basically has to come to the first position. All right. In order to do this, basically, we need to split the number digit wise. So we should be in a position to separate 5 and 34. For this, we will be using two different operators. Okay. The first one is modulus. The second one is division. Suppose if I take 3, 4, 5 and do a modulus with 10. Can you guess what could be the number? So 10 can divide 345 at 340 times. So we are left with a remainder of 5. Similarly, if I divide 345 with 10, what is the result? Whenever division happens, it only takes the number leaving the remainder. So when we divide it, it gives us 34. On a careful watch, you can easily make out we got the last digit in this and we got the rest of the digits over here. So rather I can write as last digit is basically the number modulus 10 and if you want the rest of the digits it is n divided by 10. All right, we have learned the first fundamental thing. The next thing is how do we build the reverse number? Let's do it. The number is 345. So what happens is on first iteration, we will be able to break it into 34 and 5. After that, the second iteration, we will break this into 3 and 4. Now, if you track the iterations, first we have 5. So that will be stored. Then we get the 4. Therefore, we are going to store it as 54. Then we get 3, therefore I will store it as 543. That's how we are going to reverse the digits. So for this to happen, what we are going to do is, we will take a variable reverse. So first time I will be storing 5, alright. The second time, reverse has to be 54. To get 54, probably I can say reverse into 10 plus the last digit, whatever we get it. So at this point, the reverse was 5. Now we are multiplying with 10, then here the last digit is 4. So basically this is 54. So the logic works. Now again in the next iteration, I am going to use the same formula, reverse equal to reverse into 10 plus last digit. Now at this point, the reverse is 54. I am multiplying it with 10. Then at this point, the last digit is 3. So this is 543. All right, we are able to get. So, can we apply the same logic over here also? Yes, we can. Let's do that. So, if I use the same logic here, reverse, is there any number over here? No. Therefore, what I'll do is I'll make the reverse as 0. Let's define it as 0. So, at this point, it will become 0 into 10. The last digit at this point is 5. So, 0 into 10 is 0 plus 5 is 5. Absolutely works. All right. So, we got the logic to implement reversing of the digits. Now, let's get into the pseudocode. Palindrome. Step 1 is to reverse the digits. For this, I will be using a while loop. For now, let's keep the condition open. So, inside the loop, what happens is, I need to find the last digit. So last digit, you already know, it is n modulus 10. Now as we get the last digit, we'll go for the reverse, reverse equal to reverse into 10 plus 
last digit this we have just learned in the last slide after we get the the last digit i'll just update the number from the number i'll remove the last digit so i need the rest of the digits i get it by division by 10 so each iteration happens slowly the the number n keeps on decreasing at some point this number will be completely zero so this loop has to execute till the n becomes zero so i can say this as n not equal to zero till the time it does not become zero keep on iterating the loop so when the iteration happens at the end of this loop the digits get reversed and get stored in the reverse then step two check for palindrome for this we'll be using the if condition if the condition is reverse if it is equal to the given number then it is a palindrome else very obvious not a palindrome all right i hope you are able to pick up this concept let's try to implement this on a machine now let's code the third program check if the number is palindrome again the same template now let's try to get into the logic check for palindrome so for your information let me also define what is palindrome So an integer is a palindrome if the reverse of the number is equal to the original number. All right. Uh, before I start, let me define some variables. So I need this last digit. Then I need something called as original number. Then reverse number. All right. So what I'm going to do here is first I'll copy the number into the original number. We're just keeping one copy of that number. Now let's go for the logic of uh, reversing the number. So here we'll be using a while loop. So the condition, let's leave it for time being. The first thing is we need to get the last digit. For this, last digit is basically the number modulus 10. Then reverse number is reverse number into 10 plus last digit this we have learned just now then once we get the reverse number we have to remove the last digit from the actual number so number equals number divided by 10 once we do that that last digit will be excluded from the number all right while this iteration happens at the end basically this number will become zero so this loop has to go on till the number is not equal to zero. All right. Now, at this point, you may be tempted to write like this number equals double equals reverse and printf the given, the given number is a palindrome. Else, not a palindrome all right the code is ready let's execute this oh reverse is not there yeah it's actually reverse number all right now if we list it out yes three is available enter a number 45 yeah it's not a palindrome let's type 343 343 is actually palindrome but you see that it's not a palindrome the reason is we are doing a small mistake over here once this loop is finished basically this number is becoming zero that's what the condition right so how can zero be equal to the reverse number so here instead of this what we're going to use is the original number because we have saved a copy of the number over here because i already know that once the loop iteration will go on this number will become zero and it cannot be compared so for the safe side we have taken this number now this code should work perfectly let's give it a try Ouch. okay three four three it is a palindrome 
all right it's working this is a very important question it has been asked many times in cocubes amcat elitmus so make sure you learn it thoroughly all the best mm -hmm.